Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, wherever you are, give Jesus a shout of praise in this place. In your homes, wherever you are right now, come on, give Him praise. Give Him glory. There is nobody like Him in all the earth. No one compares to Him. Nobody's on His level. He has no rival. He has no equal. And that same Jesus, the Jesus of the Bible, is the same Jesus today. He never changes. He never changes. He never changes. Just as He moved throughout the pages of Scripture, so He's ready to move in your life tonight in the name of Jesus. So on behalf of Pastors Andre and Jenny, a very warm welcome to Faith Today right here in Buffalo City. I know that tonight is your night to take delivery of your miracle in the name of Jesus. There is nothing hard for God. Nothing is hard for Him. I'm telling you something. All you have to do is put your faith in God. And I'm telling you something. You won't log off disappointed in the name of Jesus. Within these two hours, you can take delivery of your miracle in the name of Jesus. I can already see so many of you in the comment section and we're excited to have you with us right here in Buffalo City. Wherever you're watching, let us know in the comment section. Share it. Tag someone. A very warm welcome to all of you watching on YouTube as well. Faith Now on our app. I want to encourage you to download the Faith Now app. Get onto your Play Store or onto, onto your iPhone. Get into the, the iStore as well. Download the app. Faithful content 24 hours a day. Why not get on there? A warm welcome as well. DSTV Channel 341, Sky 594, as well as all of those of you who are watching in any other way that I might have forgotten. A very warm welcome to you. I'm not here alone. I'm joined by three powerhouses. I'm telling you something. God's about to release a word that changes your life forever. Tay, are you ready for tonight? I'm ready. And you know, even as we sang that song, I live to testify. I live to testify of the goodness of my God. You live to testify of the faithfulness of your God. And you know, I am so excited. I got something burning inside of me because I know something's going to happen tonight. And it is such an honor and a privilege to be alive in this time, to be a spectator, to be a partaker of what God is doing on the earth, what God is doing for His children. And I encourage you, I want to so encourage you to jump in, to be a part of what God is doing because you don't want to be left behind. You don't want to just stand back and look what God is doing in everyone else's life. Let God do something in your life and let it start tonight because He is so ready and He is so, so able. So I am excited and I'm ready for what God is about to do tonight. Come on, that's right. If you're on Facebook with us as well as YouTube, we can see you in the comment section. I want you to begin to hit the like button. Hit the heart if, you, if you're expecting tonight. If I want, I want it to be a sign tonight. I might not be able to see you in your home, but I can see you in the comment section. So hit the heart button even right now on YouTube, hit the like button as a sign of your expectations so that we know that you're locked and loaded and you're ready for tonight. I'm telling you something, God is about to perform His Word. He's about to confirm it. He's about to authenticate it. You're about to take delivery of your testimony in the name of Jesus. Brad and Josanna, are you ready for tonight? Ready for tonight. I'm looking forward to this evening. Wherever you're watching from, a warm welcome to you, Faith family. It's good to have you joining us. Good to have you on. So all of you, a warm welcome. You know, I'm really expecting for tonight. And I want you to type this in the comment section. Type it in and declare with us, I am am expecting. Top it in there with us. Declare it by faith that you're expecting. For tonight, we're believing that prison walls are going to be broken down. I want you to know that there's no prison wall that cannot be broken down. That's right. There's no mountain that cannot be removed. There's no sickness that cannot be healed. There's, there's no sickness Amen. that you cannot be healed from. God is ready to heal you. He's ready to deliver you, deliver you. He's ready to comfort you. He's ready. God is ready. Let me tell you something. All we have to do is be expectant. Amen. There's no yoke that cannot be destroyed. There's no burden that cannot be lifted. I'm telling you something tonight. The as the gospel of Jesus Christ goes forth, people are going to get healed, people are going to get set free, people Amen. are going to get delivered. You cannot get set free and delivered or healed by watching series or cartoons. It's the gospel of Jesus Christ on. that sets you free. It's the gospel of Jesus Christ that heals you. And tonight, I'm believing something powerful is going to happen as we spent time praying before. Something shot up in my bones to have an expectancy for myself for tonight. Amen. I'm telling you, you have to be expectant. There's going to be a powerful move of God tonight. I want you to type it in the comment section. I see some of you already done it. There That's we go. It. Audrey. Audrey has done it, Josie's done it, Magdalene's done it. Top in there, I am expectant and tonight is going to be powerful. Tonight's going to be your night where you walk away holding a testimony of the goodness Amen. of God. Amen. Welcome Faith Family, wherever you are watching from, we want you to know that you are so welcome. It is a joy, it is a privilege that you're watching, that you're participating with us tonight. And we are so expectant, like Brad said, in what God's going to do. And something on the inside of me just, 
I am so expectant for tonight, and I know this, that we're a part of a different kingdom. There might be chaos all around and various things, but we are part of a different kingdom, a kingdom where we can experience peace, a kingdom where we can experience joy, a Amen. kingdom where we can experience the provision of God, the goodness of God, the love of God. We are a part of a different kingdom, and that excites me. And I know this, that we need to trust in the Lord, trust in the Lord and do good. And don't forget everything that God has even brought you from, what He's done in your That's life. Right. And He is about to do something amazing in your life tonight, wherever you're watching from, as you trust in Him. Amen. Come on, I'm telling you, tonight is your night. I can see so many people right now. Anita, I see you. I see we've got Clow. I see we've got Tony Ria, Sandy as well. A number of you are saying that I'm expecting. I don't want you just to write in the comment section, but hit that heart button even right now. Let's give Facebook a hard time tonight, as well as all of you that are on YouTube. I see we've got Arlene on YouTube. We've got Lulu. We've got uh, Ariana. We've got Marie. We've got Khadija. We've got Standby. We've got Roshni. We've got Desri Fontaine on with us as well. Uh, who else do we have? We've got Ruth on with us on YouTube. We're so glad to have you. Make sure that you smash the like button and hit those hearts even right now. I can Come on, there we go. I can see them flying on Facebook. Tonight is your night in the name of Jesus. If you have an ailment in your body, if you have a sickness, if you have an infirmity, whatever it is, you're in the right place in the name of Jesus because God's Word brings healing. God's Word brings life. It can turn any impossible situation around. He can make a way where there is no way. Some of you, you've been facing some difficulty. Some of you have been facing some hard times. Some of you, it feels like only only stress and anxiety has been following you. But tonight, I'm telling you something. It's going to change in the name of Jesus. The Bible says this. Then we're going to go back into a time of praise. Psalm 23, verse 5. We all know this psalm. You prepare. Let me read from the beginning. The Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. He lets me rest in green meadows. He leads me beside a peaceful stream. He renews my strength. I pray in the name of Jesus, every person that logs in tonight on Facebook, on YouTube, on DSTV, on Faith Now, however it is you're watching, may your strength be renewed today Hallelujah. in Jesus' yes. name. You, Jesus. He guides me. Anyone that needs guidance, tonight may you receive guidance from heaven in Jesus' name. He guides me along the right path, bringing honor to His name. Even when I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid. For you are close beside me. Your rod and your staff protect and comfort me. Listen to this now. You prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. You honor me by anointing my head with oil. My cup overflows with blessing. My cup overflows with blessing. My cup overflows with blessing. Not with stressing, but with blessing. Not with anxiety, but with blessing. I'm telling you something. The blessing of God is about to overflow in your life. In the name of Jesus, surely your goodness and unfailing love will pursue me all the days of my life and I will live in the house of the Lord forever. What's been following you is about to change tonight. Only goodness and only mercy is going to follow you all the days of your life in the name of Jesus. So wherever you are, let's rise to our feet and let's begin to praise the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Let's praise Him. Sweet. 
to say I am the remnant I'm part of the remnant write that in the comment section tonight faith now write it in the comment section as well DSTV Sky 594 just shout it from the rooftops tonight we are the remnant in Jesus name we're not like everybody else we are for signs 
and we are for wonders. We'll be the story of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 10, that we will have people that are claimed by God, that people will see, that the nations of the world will see that we are a people claimed by God. They won't just see it because we hold the Bible in our hand, but they'll see our lives, they'll see your business, they'll see your career, they'll see your health, they'll see that you're not covered by a spirit of fear, but you're operating with a spirit of faith. They'll see how you move from victory to victory and from grace to grace and from strength to strength. They'll see how your children thrive, how your family is blessed in Jesus' name, and they will stand in awe of you in the name of Jesus. If that's you and you're with us in the comment section, I want you to say amen. I want you to say I receive it in the name of Jesus. Something is happening. I can feel something stirring tonight. I'm telling you, I feel something stirring. I feel that something's going to happen tonight. Something's going to loose in Jesus' name. Something, whatever's been withheld in your life, tonight I pray in the name of Jesus. May it be loose now in the name of Jesus. Any money that might be due to you, I pray tonight in the name of Jesus, whatever pension might be due to you, any contract that is due to you, I pray in the name of Jesus that today you take delivery of it in the name of Jesus. I really feel that in my heart. Any finances that are outstanding that are due to you, in Jesus' name, may tonight be the night that you take delivery of it in Jesus' name. I want to give a couple of people a shout out tonight in the comment section. So we're going to see you because you're truly the remnant. Our Facebook ambassadors, our YouTube ambassadors, I really want to ask you, all of you that are watching right now, maybe you're in the UK on Sky 594, maybe you're in South Africa, you're watching on DSTV channel 340 on wherever it is that you're tuning in. I want to ask you, jump onto social media as well. Get your device out tonight. Get your, get your tablet, get your iPad, get your computer, your laptop, whatever it might be. And join us in the comment section as well. You can have it on your TV as, if you want, but also have the comment section ready because I'm telling you something that allows us to be able to minister to you tonight. That allows us for able, to be able to see you, for God to be able to move as we see your names. I'm believing tonight that as we engage the Holy Spirit, we're going to see His gifts in manifestation. That we're going to see the gift of faith in manifestation, the working of miracle, the gift, the working of miracles, the gift of healing, discernment, tongues and interpretation of tongues, the word of wisdom, the word of knowledge, that tonight we're going to see it in manifestation. Whatever Whatever you need, it's within this two-hour service in Jesus' name because God's Word is open. God's Word brings answers in Jesus' name. God's Word brings light to dark situations. God's Word can bring a turnaround. God's Word can bring triumph. God's Word brings testimonies. And tonight, as you engage by faith, as you open up your heart, I'm telling you something. Something is going to happen. Christine, great to have you. Denise Adams is on with us as well. Yandisa, amen. Great to have you on. David Lukey's on with us. I think he's on third floor. Dave, we love you. You're the best. Grace is on with us as well. I see Anita Jan is on with us as well. Great to see you. Please can you just give us a shout in the comment section if you're if you're with us so that we can give you a shout out. Tell you seen anybody? On. Yes, I see Christine. She's watching from Elberton. Michelle Mano says every sickness has to bow to the name of Jesus. Come on, I even want to encourage you what you're believing for tonight. Write it in the comment section as we're going to spend time in prayer and believe that you're going to hold that testimony in your hand because even as now we're sharing, you are that sign. You are that one. And even as Jesus said, these signs and these wonders, these miracles that I'm performing here on earth, it's proof of the one who sent me. That testimony that you hold that life that you live that is in obedience to the, wo to the Word of God and what, what He's called you to do is proof that He has sent you. It's proof that He is doing something in your life. You are here to testify of the goodness of God. We walk in His goodness. We walk in miracles. We walk in wonders every single day. That's what He has for us. So as I said in the beginning, I want you to step in. Be expectant with Come us. On. That's right. I want, to, I want you to know this. It's so important for you to recognize this tonight. That biblical faith will always bring forth biblical results. Amen. It will always yeah. produce biblical results. So tonight, all you have to do is have faith in God. All you have to do is dare to believe when others call you a fool for watching tonight. When others say, what's the good of you even watching that? What's it going to do in your life? When the fruit comes, it will speak for itself. Right. When the testimony comes to pass, it will yeah. speak for itself. And then you'll be able to tell that person, hey, remember that time you told me you're a fool for doing that? Well, now I'm a fool with fruit in Jesus' mighty name. We are fools for Christ. We are fools for Christ, Paul said. But we will be fools who have lots of fruit, fruit in amen. the name of Jesus. Who are you guys seeing in the comment section tonight? Amen. If you're seeing Andrea, Rosala, and Leanne Willemsa. And people just hopping in for prayer. Linda Chetty, good to see you on. Reshma Woodley, Marilyn Porchetta, Mano Augustine, uh, Claudette Exford. Claudette, good to see you on, you and your family. Uh, Reshma, Mary, so many people tuning in tonight. People tapping in for prayer. I really want to encourage you, as Taylor had said earlier, tap in the comment section what you're believing the Lord for for tonight. We want to be able to pray with you, stand in agreement with you. And tonight our prayer is this. 
is that the Lord would open your eyes of understanding. That, what, that, that, that which the Apostle Paul spoke to the church of Ephesus about, that, that, that their eyes of understanding would be enlightened, that they would be able to see with their eyes of understanding. Tonight we're praying that, that your eyes will be opened as the Word gets preached tonight. So type it in the comment section, that which you believe in God to do. I see we've got Christy watching. Welcome. It is so lovely having you watch. We have Maurice Tutu saying, Amen. I receive it in Jesus' name. Rosalie watching. We also have Reshmi watching. Tabachu watching. Magdalene watching. We have Rosalie watching. We have Romeria watching. Katrina watching. And Nell saying, I receive it in Jesus' name. Twist to us watching, Desmond watching. We have James Broadway watching. Hey, James. You know, as, as we were just worshiping, there's a sweet presence of Jesus. And I know that you can feel it even in your homes, wherever you're watching from. But the Lord really spoke to me about this scripture, actually, just as we were worshiping. It's in Psalm 56, verse 8 to 9, in the New King James Version. And it says, You number my wanderings, put my tears into your bottle. Are they not in your book? When I cry out to you, then my enemies will turn back. This I know because God is for me. Mm. You know that God keeps all your tears in a bottle. How, this, is, this is what the scripture is saying, that as you pour out your tears in his presence, it is so, those tears are so precious to God. And I believe there's people watching tonight who have cried many tears. But I want you to know that even as you've cried in His presence, those tears are so precious and valuable to God. They are so valuable to God. God has not forgotten about you. He knows your name. He knows exactly what you might be facing. And that's just really what I wanted Amen. to share today. Come on, I see we've got people that are, that are tuning in from everywhere. And Jazan, you're so right. There is a presence of Jesus in that's this right. place. Yeah. You know, in His presence is fullness of joy. Anything that's been stealing your joy, tonight it will be restored in Jesus' mighty name. Anything that has stolen your rest, I believe with all my heart that tonight you're going to see it restored in your life in Jesus' name. I see we've got Gladys on with us as well. Koliwe is on with us on YouTube. Willem on YouTube. Great to see you. Refens is on YouTube. I'm so honored to have Jade Naren, Sammy on with us as well, all the way from the nation of I Go To Mouth. Thank you so much for jumping on as well. You and your family, great to have you on tonight. I see we've got Radlin on with us, Caesar's on with us, all of you on YouTube and on Facebook. Tonight is going to be your night in Jesus' name. I'm telling you something. Every giant that's tried to oppose your destiny, every giant that's had the audacity to stand in your way as you've been pursuing the purpose of God, as you've been moving forward, some of you, you feel like you've faced a dead end. Some of you, face like you've, you feel like you've been facing adversity after adversity. Let me tell you something. The price for a glorious destiny is great adversity. It doesn't come for free. Every single one of us is granted that glorious destiny in Christ Jesus because of the work of redemption. But there is a cost for having a glorious destiny and it's called great adversity. But with all conflict that might come your way, you are more than a conqueror. Amen. With any adversity that might come your way, you can advance sweatlessly in front of that in the name of Jesus. Every obstacle that might come your way, the Bible says that you are an overcomer. You have overwhelming victory. And tonight, I want you to know something that within these two hours, you're not going to receive an excuse to, to stay with your situation. But tonight, by the word of God, God will grant unto you divine empowerment to conquer. Divine empowerment to slay every single giant. Some of you, you've been praying about your giant. But tonight, I'm here to tell you, don't just pray. You're called to slay in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You're called to slay every Goliath, every uncircumcised Philistine. Anything that stands in your way to try and block your progress, block your advancement, hinder you from moving forward in all that God has for you. Tonight, that thing must fall in the name of Jesus. Tonight, heads must roll in the name of Jesus. Every Amen. demon that's been Come that's on. been hindering your family. In Jesus. Some of your families, it's like they rise to a certain point and they just can't break past that limitation. Tonight, in the name of Jesus, I pray for every limit to be lifted in the name of Jesus. Jesus name. Everything that's been blocking your advancement, I pray that the God of heaven will visit in it in Jesus', in Jesus name. name. Yes. Whatever area of your life needs divine visitation, I pray that tonight will be that night in Jesus' name. As you open up your heart, Jesus will come and do what only Jesus can do. The arm of flesh will fail you, but there's a mighty right hand 
that will never let you down. There's a mighty right hand that will never leave you high and dry. There's a right hand and it will exalt you and it will lift you up and it will keep you and it will lead you from victory to victory and from strength to strength. It's the right hand that will deliver you from the bear. The right hand that will deliver you from the lion and the same way it delivered you from the lion and the bear is the same way it will deliver you from every single giant that tries to come your way in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm telling you something, the spirit of faith is in operation tonight. <laughs> I pray tonight that the gift of faith will locate you in Jesus' name. With the gift of faith, the working of miracles comes with it. The gift of healing comes with it. Leukemia, I can't, I, I, I cancel it now in Jesus' name. Any child watching me with leukemia, I say the word right now, I lose the authority of God's work. Be made whole in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. You're watching this, I don't know if you're in a cancer ward, if you are in a cancer ward and you're watching right now, I want you to say in the comment section that that's you. You're in the cancer ward in the name of Jesus. I speak to your body right now. Your cancer has, that can, no, it's not your cancer, it's the devil's cancer, yeah. but it's got to such an extent that you're turning, you're starting to turn yellow. Right now in the name of Jesus, there is no unsettled thing that God can't do something about. There's no situation that God can't turn around. There's no situation He can't bring divine intervention to. I speak to that lady right now in that cancer ward. In the name of Jesus, I command you to be made whole in the name of Jesus. I loose the word of God into your spirit now. I command your body to be made whole. I speak to that devil of cancer and I command it to loose you and to let you go. Be made whole whole in Jesus, in Jesus name. name quickly in I feel Jesus that in my spirit name. if that's you, you there we go Magdalene says my four-year-old baby high-risk leukemia I curse that leukemia Jesus now in Jesus name in the name of Jesus Magdalene if you're with your child lay your hands on that child yes. and curse the spirit of cancer now yes. curse that devil now in Jesus name yes well tonight just went to, went up a whole few levels I feel something stirring tonight in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus let's begin to pray any unsettled situation any demon that's caused unrest in your family anything that's caused you uh, that's caused your life to have unrest that's caused unsettlement father in the name of Jesus we as your servants pray here tonight let that receive visitation tonight in the name of Jesus let that area of the people's life receive visitation tonight intervene on their behalf I pray in the name of Jesus turn any impossible situation around now in the name of Jesus if God loses a word to you, I want you guys to release it. But something's happening tonight. Continue to share the broadcast. Continue to tag people. There's much to happen tonight, but there's a flow that's happening now. So don't miss out on it. On YouTube, continue to share. Continue to copy the link and send it to someone. If you know somebody that needs healing, tag them right now in the comment section in the name of Jesus. Tonight is someone's night in Jesus' name. Santalina wrote that. Pray for my daughter. She's six years old. She can't hear or speak. Santalina, if you are with your daughter, I want you to lay your hands on her. Father, in the name of Jesus, that mouth comes open right now. Those ears come open right now. We thank you, God, for supernatural healing in her daughter's body. Whatever needs to be corrected, God, I thank you that you are doing it right now. That she will hear and that she will speak. And even, even as she continues, as she grows up, she will speak the word of God. God, she will be used mightily for you, God, because you know what God placed in my spirit for tonight. In the name of Jesus. Looking at as you commenting, these sicknesses, these diseases, these giants that are trying to get you down, trying to take you back. You don't need to know the strength of the giant when you know whose strength you carry. You don't even need to know how big it is. You don't even know what it can do to you when you know who you carry on the inside of you. Because that sickness, that disease, that thing that is trying to plague your body, plague your mind, that can be seen as a giant. That can be seen as a mountain. But when you get a boldness on the inside of you, when you get something stirred up, knowing whose strength you carry, know whose strength, whose power you carry, you get a boldness that rises up, knowing that it does not belong to you. That sickness cannot stay. That boldness cannot stay because it does not 
not belong in a child of God's body. That giant that's facing you, it doesn't matter how strong it is. It doesn't matter what it looks like. It just matters because you know that it's coming down. Because you know that the head's coming off. Because you know that it can no longer affect you or your family yes, yes, or your yes, children yes, yes. to even take a stand tonight. Going Jesus forward, it ends tonight. Going forward, you're drawing a line and it stops right now because these giants can no longer plague your family, can no longer plague your life when you know whose power you carry on the inside of you because He is so much greater and He is so able to turn situations around. Thank you, God, that we don't have to look to doctors for cures. Thank you that we don't have to look to doctors to heal us when we have the great physician, when we can turn to the God who created us. When we have the great physician, we have had the power of the Holy Spirit throwing, flowing through our bodies. We thank you, God, that you are our healer, that you are our healer. In Jesus' name. I want in you right Jesus now to do that, name. Mom. I want you to take your fingers right now and put your fingers in your child's ear like that. Father, in the name in of Jesus, Jesus, we command that death and dumb spirit to loose that child. In Jesus' name. Loose in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you that that spirit leaves and never returns in the name of Jesus. I thank you that child, I speak over that child's destiny, that child's purpose, that child's assignment. I thank you that that child will fulfill their purpose on this earth, that they're called of God, that God, you would use them in a mighty way in the name of Jesus, that they'll shake, they'll shake cities. They'll shake nations. They'll shake continents on this earth in Jesus' name. May that child live out their purpose. I thank you, Father, that devil's loosed over their life in Jesus' name. I command the Spirit of God to fall that child now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I think that the child will hear, hear the voice of God. The child will speak the oracles of God, speak the word of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Loosed in Jesus' name. Loosed in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Andrea, for you right now too. We speak over that child, the a six-year-old child with that spirit of cancer. That cancer, that spirit, that, that spirit. That wicked spirit, we command that spirit to leave in the name of Jesus. That spirit of infirmity leaves in Jesus' name now over your household. And that devil loses his grip over your child. Your child's not going to die. Your child's going to live. And with long life will he satisfy your child in the name of Jesus. Even for you, Andrea. I hear this from the Lord saying, with long life shall he satisfy you too. You and your husband in Jesus' name. It's not the end for you. It feels like you come to a dead end. It's not a dead end. It's not a T-junction. Yes. The best is yet to come. Hallelujah. Tonight's the night that that thing gets destroyed. We cut the head off that giant in Jesus' name. And you walk away with your testimony tonight. In the name of Jesus, that six-year-old child of yours will rise up stronger than before, mightier than ever. That they're going to slay giants in Jesus' name. Just as that giant is slayed tonight, so too that child will be known as a giant slayer, a giant killer, a giant destroyer, in the mighty name of Jesus. In, Jesus in the mighty name. name of Jesus. The Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit to me. There's somebody watching. Your name starts with a K. That's what the Holy Spirit said. And you are in a deep depression. It almost feels like you're in a pit. It feels like you're in a dark, deep pit of depression. There's an extreme sadness an extreme sadness. I want you to lift your hands right now to the Lord. I want to pray for you. Father, I thank you that you are good and faithful. I bind that spirit of depression in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, I declare healing and wholeness in that person. In Jesus' name, may they experience the joy of the Lord. Out of their belly will flow rivers of living water in Jesus' name. They will smile. They will, smile. They will laugh like never before. In in the name of Jesus, I thank you, God, that you pull them, you rip them out of that pit. And God, I thank you that they will stand and testify of your goodness in Jesus' name. I want you to lay your hands on your belly right now. God, I thank you, Father, right now in Jesus' name. Right now, I thank you for rivers of living water to flow in Jesus' name. I thank you, God, that they'll start to laugh right now. Lord, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, in the name of Jesus, that anxiety, that depression has tried to take you out, it no longer will in Jesus' name. God has raised you far above in the name of Jesus. Jesus. In the name of Jesus, this is what I feel to say to someone, and I want you to hear me. I don't want you. I don't want you to. I, I need to say this to someone. 
A man of God once said this, his name is Bishop David Oyedepo. He said, what you don't resist has the right to remain in your life. There's people that are watching me right now. There's things that are in your life that have caused problems. It might be even in your health and, and the devil has got you into the place where he's deceived you to settle with that issue. Tonight, you must come to the place where you boldly reject it in the name of Jesus. Where you come to the place where you say, God, this far and no further. The devil's trying to harass me, but Lord, tonight, in the name of Jesus, I resist this ailment. I resist this sickness. I resist this disease in Jesus' name. Because you can never be delivered from something that you're not disgusted by. There's some of you that you're bound by drug addiction. But tonight, as you'll decide in the name of Jesus, that as these four people are praying, I'm going to open up my heart and believe that tonight is my night to be delivered. Tonight is my night to be set free. Tonight is my night to receive liberty in the name of Jesus. So right now, I speak to every single individual. I speak to your body. I speak to your body even right now. I say and I speak that infirmity. I command it to loose you and to let you go in Jesus' name. I speak to your lungs. Be made whole. I speak to your back. Be made whole. I speak to your the fi fibroids, whatever that word is. I speak to that now in the name of Jesus. Be made whole in Jesus' name. You shall not live with it anymore. But today, it gets sent straight back to hell in Jesus' name. I want you to be bold tonight. And if you're with us on YouTube and on Facebook, if you're on DSTV, quickly get your mobile device off now and jump into the comment section. I want to see you now. I want to see you in the comment section. If there's something in your life that's been causing problems, problems after problems after problems, whether it's your health, finances, whatever it is, I want you to write in the comment section now, in the name of Jesus, I resist this and write that thing. If it's cancer that's been plaguing your body, write in the comment section, in the name of Jesus, I resist this cancer in my lungs, in Jesus' name. And tonight, that cancer cannot remain. But tonight, it loses its hold on your life. And tonight, you are set free in Jesus', in Jesus name. name. In Jesus' name. I even see Magdalena who's believing for her child to be healed. She says there's 102 other babies fighting that same cancer. You know what, including your child, that's 103 testimonies. Come 103 on. testimonies Come that's on. gonna rise Come up because you Hallelujah. know what? My God that I serve is a healer and my God who I serve is your God too. And I know that He can bring the turnaround. That's right. I know that He can bring the breakthrough, but just as now said, you have to be so disgusted. Yes. Just as as a child of God, you have to be so disgusted with sin. You have to be so disgusted with sickness. You have to be so disgusted with disease that you know that whenever you see it, whenever you hear it, whenever it's around, you, you have to resist it because it does not belong to you. And everything has to turn around in the presence of God. No evil thing can stand. In the presence of God, no sickness can be. And you have to make the decision to live your life in the presence of God. As you are a carrier, you are a carrier of signs, of wonders, and of miracles. There is miracle working power. Miracle working power that is of God. Amen. <laughs> I just keep hearing that. It's not hard for our God. It's not hard for Him. It's so easy, but we have to take that stand of boldness. Amen. We have to take that stand to say, this is the life that I live yes. because it's according to the Word of God. If it's not written, it does not apply to me. Yes. If it's not good, it's not a part of my life. Testimonies are coming. Keep writing in the comment section. Testimonies are coming tonight. I feel that so strongly. You're about to testify. Whatever seems too big, it's not too big. That's right. Come on, that's right. It's easy for God. It's not too big. It's so easy for right. Him. Just be be ready and have faith Amen. in God. Come on. Just as Jesus said, have faith in God. I want to encourage those of you who are online, who are tuning in. I want to encourage you, as Niall said, type it in the comment section. I want to encourage you with this. The thing that you don't get rid of, you don't get rid of sin, sin's gonna get rid of you. Yeah. The thing that you don't cast out, it's gonna cast you out. If you don't confront something, you can never conquer it. And tonight we want to stand with you that you won't just conquer it, but you'll be more than a conqueror. Amen. Tonight we're going to stand with you. The thing that's been trying to destroy you, that we destroy that thing so it doesn't destroy you. That's right. Tonight we want to stand in agreement with you. We're coming alongside you. Those of you who feel like you've been in a pit, where you've been in that trench, tonight's the night where people have been pressing you down. God's going to take that mighty right hand of His and lift you right up. Praise He's going to infuse faith into you. He's going to oh, inject Jesus. it into you. He's going to dry that into you so that your faith will arise in this hour, that you don't just walk around being slapped around that's by the right, devil. Charlotte. 
valid. But you make a boomerang back on the devil. So type it in the comment section. If there's people who even have children, who have been dealing with unrest, who have been dealing with sickness, with disease, maybe there's some stuff that they've been dealing with, type their names in the comment section. Mm. We want to speak life over them. We want to, want to speak death. We want to speak life over them in Jesus' name. They're Amen. not going to be destroyed. They're going to rise up during this hour. That They're not going to be held back by the devil, but they're going to push forward and march on. And they're going to set their eyes and focus on the, on the mark of the high calling or what the calling that God has for them. So type their names in the comment section. Whatever prayer request you have, type it in. We want to be in agreement with you tonight. Amen. You know, I feel this in my spirit. And so I'm going to be, be, be obedient to the Lord. I feel two things tonight. That number one, there's people that are watching me. I see you on YouTube and on Facebook. And I know I don't want to leave any of you out that are on DSTV, but I want to urge you again. If you can get out your mobile device and get into social media with us tonight, get into the comment section so that at least we can yeah, see you, come on. so that you can participate tonight. This is not what we planned for tonight, I'll tell you that, but this is what the Holy Ghost had in mind. And our responsibility is to move with the Holy Spirit because He knows exactly what to do. And He's touching yeah. people even right now. But I tell you this, I feel this in my spirit that there's families, there's men and there's women that you're feeling so low on energy. You feel like every day is just a struggle. You feel like even when you get up in the morning, you don't even have have your joy any longer that that you've just become stuck in the mundane things of life in your routine in and out you feel like you're growing weaker and weaker but tonight I believe for the spirit of might to come upon you in the name of Jesus Amen. that same spirit that rested upon Samson I'm praying in the name of Jesus that that same power will come upon you in Jesus mighty name even right now if that's you if I'm speaking to you and you feel low I pray in the name of Jesus even right now I stretch forth my hands to you in your home wherever you are I want you to lift up your hands if I'm speaking to you you've been doing your job what God has called you to do but you're feeling low you're feeling like you don't have any energy you feel like you don't have any strength in the name of Jesus today I stretch forth my hands to you in your home father in Jesus name I pray now energize your people energize your servants by your spirit even right now let the spirit of God begin to create Quicken them right now. Begin to produce life on the inside of them. Quicken them even right now. Let strength come upon them even right now. Because if you faint in the day of adversity, your strength is small. So Father, in the name of Jesus, I speak to all of them. Them that have a glorious destiny. Them who are taking strides for your kingdom. Them who are moving forward by force. I pray for them to be energized tonight. I pray for them to be revived tonight. I pray for them to be strengthened tonight. Be refreshed tonight in the name of Jesus to continue you fighting the good fight of faith to not cast away your confidence that holds a great reward but lay hold of all that God has for you says the Lord I speak to your heart even right now be strengthened in the name of Jesus be strengthened in the name of Jesus for it will not be by your might it will not be by your power but it will be by the Spirit of the Lord I speak to all 204 of you on now on Facebook all of a hundred or so of you on YouTube all of you on DSTV all of you on faith now all of you watching on Sky 594, wherever you are, speak to your body right now. Receive it. Receive it. Lift up your hands and receive it even right now from God. I loose it upon your life now in Jesus' name. Let it come upon you. Let it come upon you. Any bondage, any bondage that the devil's try to put on you, tonight it burns off of your life like flax in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. For the Bible says this in verse 14 of Judges chapter 16. As Samson arrived at Lehi, Lehi, the Philistines came shouting in triumph. Perhaps the enemy's been shouting in triumph in your face. Letting you know that you're never going to break this thing. Letting you know that you're always going to live with this disease or this sickness or this bondage. Or this infirmity. The devil's been getting loud in front of you. The Bible says that they came shouting in triumph. But then what happened, the Bible says, but the Spirit of the Lord came powerfully upon Samson and he snapped the ropes on his arms as if they were burnt strands of flax and they fell from his wrist. Then he found the jawbone of a recently killed donkey. He picked it up and killed 1,000 Philistines with it. Then Samson said, with the jawbone of a donkey, I've piled them in heaps. With the jawbone of a donkey, I've killed a thousand men. Tonight, in the name of Jesus, I pray for an empowerment to locate you that will make the devil sorry in Jesus' name. I pray in the name of Jesus that your family will catch fire, that you'll be like the 300 foxes that, he, that caught fire and Samson threw them, he, he sent them through the fields of the Philistines and burnt everything of the enemy. I pray in the name of Jesus, may your business catch spiritual fire tonight may it plunder hell in Jesus name and populate heaven may you frustrate the devil from today 
You see, it's too late for the devil. He should have killed you when he had the chance, but you decide to watch tonight. You decided to spend two hours with us who are full of faith, who are full of the Word of God. And tonight, in the name of Jesus, the devil lost his last chance. And tonight, you receive a, a fresh empowerment to harass the devil, to frustrate the devil in Jesus' name. Right now, in Jesus' name. If you receive it on YouTube and on Facebook, I want you to type in the comment section, I receive it. I receive it. If you're watching on DSTV channel 341 or on Sky 594 in the UK, like our brother James Broadway who's with us on Facebook, just shout out loud, I receive it. Take it for yourself tonight because this is not where you end. This is not where you end in Jesus' Amen. name. Don't camp in the wilderness when you're destined for the promised land. This is not where you end. This is not where your business finishes. This is not where your family ends. This is not where your marriage ends in the name of Jesus. This is not where your children will end. Amen. Just as the agenda of the devil failed with the masks in South Africa, may every plan of the devil going henceforth, going forward, may it fail in grand fashion in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the living God. Lift your hands now in your homes. With the same level of intensity, what I want you to do now is I want thanksgiving to flow from your lips. Allow for yourself to begin to thank God now. Begin to thank Him. Let every single one of you who's continuously writing in the comment section, all of our Facebook ambassadors, I want you to like every single prayer request and pray for them. But as you've written your prayer request, I want you to begin to give thanks. I want you to begin to take your portion now. Begin to receive it. That's right, ordeal. I snatch it, I grab it, I receive it in Jesus' mighty name. Begin to take it even right now. Some of you, you ought to test yourself already. Some of you will only know that the miracle has happened when you get your test from the doctors next. But begin to give thanks now out of your mouth. Jesus, we praise you. You are a good God. We receive all that we've asked for tonight. We take delivery of our testimony tonight. For you said in your word in Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6, Do not worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done. We've prayed already tonight, O oh God. But now we as your servants, we lift up our hands to you and we give thanks in the name of Jesus. We offer unto you thanksgiving now. We offer unto you thanksgiving now. We offer unto you thanksgiving even right now. We receive it for our family. We receive it for our children. We receive it for our business. We receive it for ourselves in the name of Jesus. Even right now, all of you, 232 of you on Facebook, right in the comment section, thank you, Jesus. Take delivery now. Your thanksgiving is what seals it. I receive it in the name of Jesus. I receive it in the name of Jesus. That's right, Tina. Katrina Dirks on Facebook. Rochelle. Mari. I see we got Shell on with us as well. Junior. Poovy's on with us. Magdalene. Romario. Mano's on with us. Shaz. Patricia Kruger. Auntie Patsy. Auntie Patsy, I pray for your kids right now, your, your grandchildren. In the name of Jesus, may they arise with the anointing in Jesus' name. Yes. May they arise with the anointing in Jesus' in name. May Jesus. a boldness come upon every single one of them. In the name of Jesus Christ, no spirit of depression will settle upon them in Jesus' name. Today, I rebuke that spirit of depression. I curse it and I command it to loose them and let them go. Amy, God bless you. Denise, Katrina, Elfie is on with us as well. I want you to test yourself even right now. And if you can see a difference in your body already, I want you to begin to testify in the comment section. Because God is a good God. Our God is alive. He's not busy doing something else. His eyes are located on those who are committed to Him. Tonight, you could have been doing anything else. Tonight, you could have made a thousand excuses of what you could rather do. But tonight, you decided, as for me, for these two hours, I'm going to lock in on this. I'm going to watch tonight and I'm going to receive something from heaven. And in the name of Jesus, God will not let you log off disappointed. Amen. You will not end these two hours or there's only one hour left. Before the end of this hour, I pray in the name of Jesus. May the God of heaven answer you in Jesus' name. In Jesus.
Jesus' name. In Jesus', in Jesus name. name. You know, the devil knows this, that if you do not praise the Lord, that you'll shrivel up, you'll wither, you'll die. The devil knows that there. But praise God, that's not our report. Amen. The word says that we will flourish like the cedars of Lebanon. Our leaves will always remain green. I don't know who that is for tonight, but I want to remind you that when you are planted in the house of the Lord, I'm seeing people tonight through the, through the lens, people who are planted in the house of the Lord. All 234 of you on Facebook, those hundreds of you that are on YouTube and the thousands watching, as now said on DSTV, I'm seeing people who are planted, rooted, Yes. The Word of God. People who are going to, the leaves will remain green. And the word green in the Greek means this, to thrive, to flourish. I see businesses thriving. I see businesses turning. I see families flourishing. I see marriages increasing in Jesus' name. And that word also means to prosper. Thrive, flourish, increase, and prosper. May that be your portion tonight in Jesus' name. Man, I, I really can feel name. something is shifting in the heart of people tonight. You know, the, the thing that we set for tonight to minister on is operating as giant slayers. Because I want you to begin to recognize something. Because some of you, you've been facing adversity. Stop, stop being frustrated by the adversity. Instead, rejoice and be glad. Come on. Rejoice and be glad. Because understand something. When you get onto the plan of God concerning your life, when you begin to pursue all that God has for you, the devil will do everything he can to stop your advancement. The devil will do everything he can to try and hinder you. And some of you, you've been feeling discouraged. Some of you, you've been feeling like there is no way out, that how are you going to continue moving forward? You should lift up your two hands and begin to give God thanks that the devil is wasting his time with you. Yeah. That the devil is trying to do everything he can to keep you back. That the devil is doing everything he can to try and stop your advancement. But tonight, this is the worst place that the devil could have ever wanted you to find in Jesus' name. Because by the word of God, even already, faith is being injected into your spirit. Come on. And when faith comes, the devil flees. <laughs> when faith comes, the devil flees. The devil is fleeing your situation now in the name of Jesus. Amen. I see so many of you in the comment section. You've been writing all these prayer requests, but I pray in the name of Jesus. God is not a God who just leaves these things as prayer requests. He is a God who answers. Amen, that's right. And so my prayer is for every single one of you that's offered this prayer request in faith. Tonight you will receive your answer in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. I said tonight you'll receive your answer in Jesus name. in Jesus' name. You know, the Bible says this. I've been reflecting on this and I just want to say it quickly. To all of those that have been feeling like you feel blocked, you feel frustrated because you're facing conflict or you're facing difficulty or because you just can't seem to move forward. Let me tell you something. God has empowered you. God's plan can't be stopped. God's purpose cannot be stopped. God's purpose will always prevail. When you subscribe to the plan of God for your life, many are the plans of man, but only the Lord's purpose will prevail. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs, only the Lord's purpose will will prevail and you can walk in that reality you can walk that even when the devil's trying to stop you when the devil's trying to bring uh, uh, he's trying to come and come against you and try and resist you he cannot you have to stand firm and choose to believe God and it's only a matter of moments before that devil watches you triumph in Jesus name watches you soar over him watches you conquer over him watches you overcome in Jesus' name. You know, God showed me this. Funny enough, in Luke chapter 4. You don't have to turn there. I'll, I'll simply read it to you. But this is a word for someone. And I've been reflecting on this as of late. You know, in, and this really doesn't have much to do with our subject matter for tonight. But I feel the Holy Ghost on it. You know, in Luke chapter 4, we all know it. What happens, Jesus, He's led by the Spirit into the wilderness. Where He's tempted by the devil for 40 days and 40 nights. He fasts and prays. The Bible says that the devil comes onto the scene. And I've been saying this to the church, right here at River Church as well. You know, the devil didn't, he didn't try and harass Jesus when he was a carpenter's son. But when Jesus stepped into destiny, the devil came onto the scene. You see, the devil will leave you high and dry when you're doing your own thing. You're trying to pursue your own thing. But when you get into, your, into the plan of God, when you get into the purpose of God concerning your life, the devil, it's like you pop up onto his radar and he knows now if he doesn't act, it's too late for him. But tonight it's already too late for him because you're watching in Jesus' name. Amen. And you're about to receive empowerment in Jesus' name. 
But we go on to see in Luke chapter 4, how the devil tries to tempt Jesus. And the Bible says in verse 13, when the devil had finished tempting him, he left him until a next opportunity came. And then we see in verse 14, then Jesus returned to Galilee filled with the Holy Ghost and power and news spread about him all over the show. And then you continue reading, you see that Jesus went to the temple and he, he got the scroll of Isaiah and he, he found the place where it was written. What I've always found interesting about that particular scripture is in the NLT, it says, he unrolled the scroll and found the place where it was written. Jesus was searching the scriptures. You ought to be able to search the scriptures and find scripture concerning your life. This Bible is not speaking to someone next to you. This Bible is speaking to you. God is speaking unto you. And what I love about Jesus is he reads, he quotes the scripture, the spirit of the Lord is upon me for he has anointed me to bring the good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim the captives will be released and the blind will see, the oppressed will be set free and that time of the Lord's favor had come. And then think about this, he says this, he rolled up the scroll, handed it back to the attendant and sat down. All the eyes in the synagogue looked at him intently. Then he began to speak to them and he said, what did he say? The scripture you have heard has been fulfilled this very day my goodness think about that may the same be said about you in Jesus name because Jesus said that the same works I do shall you do and greater works shall you do them that believe on him I pray that you'll be able to say the same not from a place of arrogance or a place of pride but may you be able to say in 2022 that this day the scripture is being fulfilled in the name of Jesus goes on to say everyone spoke well of him and was amazed by his gracious words or by the gracious words that came from his lips then they said this how can this be they asked isn't this joseph's son then he said to them you will undoubtedly quote me this proverb physician heal yourself meaning do miracles here in your hometown like those you did in capernaum but i tell you the truth no prophet is accepted in his hometown certainly there was many needy widows in israel in elijah's time when the heavens were closed for three and a half years and a severe famine devastated the land yet elijah was not sent to any of them he was sent instead to a foreigner a widow of zarephath in the land of sidon and there was many lepers in israel in the time of prophet elisha but the only one healed was naaman a syrian verse 28 is where i want you to hear because it doesn't matter what the devil tries to do, you can easily move on. You can easily move through that attack. You, when he tries to come and bring resistance, you can move with ease in Jesus' name. Because the Bible says this, when they heard this, the people in the synagogue were furious. Jumping up, they mobbed him and forced him to the edge of a hill. They, my God, the same Jesus that they were marveling at. Now all of a sudden, they were trying to move him up to the top of a hill to do what? Jumping up, they mobbed him and forced him to the edge of the hill in which the town was built. They intended to push him over the cliff. Verse 30 is where it's at. And verse 30 is what I want you to get onto the inside of you. But he passed right through the crowd and went on his way. I came to encourage you tonight. It doesn't matter what you've been facing. It doesn't matter what storm you've been facing. Some of you in your job, it feels like everybody's against you. It's as if they try to push you to the edge of a hill because of who you believe in. In your families, you've been mocked. In your families, they've persecuted you. Some of you have been facing actual persecution and it feels as if they pushed you to the edge of a hill and they want to push you over. I'm here to tell you something. As you continue to pursue the purpose of God for your life, as you continue to pursue the plan of God for your life, they cannot end you in Jesus' name because they didn't start you. The devil can't put an end to what God has started because he's not the author and the finisher. There is only one who is the author and the finisher of your faith and his name is Jesus Christ. And the work that he started in your family, the work that he started in your business, the work that and the vision that he's given you, he started and he will see it to completion in the name of Jesus. Every attack that's tried to come against you, it will end in failure. And you will simply pass through man I said this on Sunday let me say it again I don't know what you've been going through but I came to encourage you again on a Thursday night in 2022 that you're going to make it through in Jesus mighty name I said you're going to make it through in Jesus mighty name I said you're going to make it through in Jesus mighty name I said you're going to make it through in the name of Jesus I feel this is a word for someone you're going to make it through because when Jesus tells you let's go to the other side come hell or high water 
you're going to make it to the other side in the name of Jesus. It doesn't matter what uncircumcised Philistine tries to block your way. Every single Goliath, there's a stone for him in Jesus' name. For every Goliath, there's a stone. For every Goliath, there's a stone. For every Goliath, I'm speaking to someone's heart tonight. I can feel it by the Spirit. Lady, I'm speaking to you. You're crying in your home right now. I see you in the Spirit. You're crying in your home. You've been asking God, how am I going to make it through? I, I came to preach just to you tonight. For every Goliath, man, there's a stone. For every Goliath, there's a, I'm speaking to your heart now. I can feel it coming on you even right now in your home. That's the gift of faith. Rise up in the name of Jesus. This is not where you're going to end. You're a single mom. I'm speaking to you now. Your husband died prematurely and you're not sure how you're going to make it through. It's not going to be by your might, ma'am. It's not going to be by your, by your strength, but it's going to be by the Lord, by His Spirit in the name of Jesus. I pray now in the name of Jesus for the Spirit of God to come upon you, for Him to overshadow you even right now, to strengthen you, to bind up your broken heart in the name of Jesus. Ma'am, it's not time for you to give up. I'm speaking to you still in your home. It's not time for you to give up, ma'am. It's not time for you to throw in the towel, ma'am. It's not time for you to say, what's the use? I'm here to tell you that those children that God has given you has a glorious destiny. And you must raise them up in the way that they should go. And when they're older, they will not depart. I'm speaking to that same lady. I don't know who you are, but if you're in the comment section, let me know that it's you. Don't worry about provision. For as the Lord had commanded the ravens to feed the prophet Elijah, yeah. so God will cause people to bless you. As you continue to remain faithful, stewarding that which God has given unto you, God will commission ravens, commission selfish people to bless you, commission people from all around just to be a blessing to you. You shall never lack in the name of Jesus. I prophesy to you, ma'am, tonight, in the name of Jesus, yeah. all shall be well for you, for it shall be well for the righteous in the name of Jesus Christ. Man, that's not what I even had prepared for tonight, but I can feel the Holy Ghost on it. She's in the comments. There we go, Lisa. Yes, I'm a single mom and my husband died at 37. I speak to you in the name of Jesus. I pray, Lord, let tonight be a night of answers for your people. Let tonight be a night of answers for your people. Lord, as you answered the prophet Elijah upon Mount Carmel. Lord, as you answered in front of the Israelites who had turned away from you and begun to worship Baal. You said unto all of them, the Lord who answers by fire, the God who answers by fire, He is gone. And Lord, as you answered by fire upon Mount Carmel, the Bible says, you said in your word, you revealed to us in your word how the people of Israel said the Lord is God. The Lord is God, and they bowed on their head, they bowed on their knees and put their faces to the ground and continued to say, The Lord, He is God. Lord, I pray for your people tonight. May they begin to declare that the Lord is God as they see you answer tonight. Someone, even right now, you're about to get a message on your phone. I feel the Lord speaking tonight. You're about to get a message on your phone. What you've been believing for, get ready. The SMS is coming right now in Jesus' name. Ma'am, that email that you've been waiting for, it's coming right now in the name of Jesus. Let me tell you something. God answers by speed. Let me give testimony to, 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 to equip your faith or rather to empower your faith. Yesterday, one of the people who serve in our ministry right here, she was having frustration about her business. People were messing her about. People were not delivering. She's involved in all different commodities and stuff like that. And she was being very, she was so frustrated because there was a chance of her losing this big deal because the people that she was using were not coming on time. They weren't rocking up to come and do the delivery. And so she sent me a WhatsApp message and she said, Pastor, I need you to pray now. And so I began to pray in the name of Jesus. I, I prayed via a voice note. I don't know if I still have the message on my phone, but I, I prayed, I think I cleared it. I prayed via a voice note with her. And I was just declaring and decreeing things by faith. 
And all of a sudden, I think it was a couple minutes later, she sent me a video of a delivery truck that just came onto the scene and picked up the delivery to take it to where it needed to go. Let me tell you something. We serve a God of speed. He can answer you tonight in the name of Jesus. Religious people have been telling you dumb things that, hey, it's going to take God five years. If God created everything that we can be seen in six days and rested on the seventh, God can do it tonight in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah, I, I really don't know what else to say, Pastor Brad, Jazan. I feel something tonight. I'm hitting this table so hard tonight, I feel I might just crack this whole table. Something must change in your life tonight in Jesus' name. I feel that somebody watching, the Lord told me this, and I turned to a scripture. I don't know if you're an elderly person or if, you are, if you're in an old age home, but the Lord showed me an elderly person. And you, you said to the Lord, I've just been forgotten, I've been elected. Your children have left you in an old age home or somewhere where you've been left. And you feel like God has overlooked you. You've been forgotten about. You've been neglected in your old age. But I want to remind you of this, that God has not overlooked you. He's not Amen. forgotten about you. And I want to read the scripture to you in 1 Timothy 1 verse 5 to 7. Listen to this. It says, I call to remembrance the genuine faith that is in you, which dwelt first in your grandmother, Lewis, and your mother, Eunice. And I am persuaded it is in you also. Therefore, I remind you to stir up the gift of God which is in you through the laying on of my hands. So now as I stretch my hand forward, I want you to reach out and make contact with it. And with the faith that's on the inside of me, I'll boldly declare that that faith would be infused on the inside of you. That even in your old age, you will not give up. You will not grow weary. You will not faint. You will not throw in the towel. But you will still produce fruit in your old age, ma'am, sir, whoever you are. May you receive that word tonight in Jesus' name. May you be strengthened with a supernatural power from on high in Jesus' name. And may you not grow weak during this hour. May you not faint. May you, may you be reminded that you are not forgotten, that God has not forgotten about you. He loves you. He loves you dearly in Jesus' name. Amen. I, I have a weird word to deliver to someone. I say weird because I've never delivered a word like this before. There's a person that's watching me tonight. I don't know where you are, but if, as I give the word, if you can give the confirmation in the comment section, if you're on Facebook or YouTube, that's the only way that we'll know. Otherwise, you'll have to send us an email. The email address will come on your screen. But right now, I'm speaking to someone, and you, having, you currently have lost a, a large amount of money with an airline, and something unfair happened, and there's a large amount of money. I don't know if it's like tickets were canceled, and the airline is refusing to send you the money. That's what I feel in my spirit. That it's a large, I don't know if you were going on a business trip or you were going on a holiday, a family holiday and something happened and now they will not repay the money and it's causing loss. And, and they just refuse. They refused. I, I can almost say the name of the airlines, but I'm not going to do that because I don't want to be sued. <laughs> I can give you what it starts with, though, possibly. <laughs> but I, I know this by the word of the Lord that is coming into my spirit, and it's a significant amount of money, and I can almost even tell you what the amount is. I feel to say it's 19,000 rand. I don't know if that's you. I speak to that individual now, that money in the name of Jesus. I command that money to be paid back to you in Jesus' name. By the yes. word of the Lord, as it comes unto you, the word of God will never come back, to, will never go forth and just do nothing and then it'll just stay and then God does nothing about it. No, in the name of Jesus, I speak to that airline now that owes that money to that individual that's watching tonight. And I command it to be released in the name of Jesus. I command that money to be paid into your account before the end of this week in Jesus' name. All that is due to you, may it come back to you double in Jesus' name. Name. May they offer you free tickets just because of the trouble that it's caused you. In the name, in the of, name Jesus. of Jesus Christ. I've never given a word like that, but I'm telling you something. I feel that that's for someone. Praise God. So if that's you, send us an email. You can even let us know in the comment section in the name of Jesus. But before the end of this week, you'll receive that money back in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Yes, Lord Jesus. 
Thank you for all that you're doing in this hour, oh God. Thank you that you're pouring out your spirit in this hour, oh God. Yes. You have been pouring out your spirit since the book of Acts. We don't need a fresh outpouring because you already poured your spirit out and you continue oh. to do it upon the hungry. Hallelujah. God, thank you for all that you're doing. I yes. thank you even right now as I feel led by your spirit. Lord, I thank you for every person on Facebook. I pray for every person on YouTube, every person on Faith Now, every person on DSTV, every person on Sky 594, every person watching on Terrestrial, however. I pray for them and I thank you for their life, God. I thank you that your hand will be evidence in their life in Jesus' name. There'll be evidence of it. All those that have been, a, that have, all shame that's been upon their life, I pray for it to be cast off now. In the name of Jesus. All weight that's been on the shoulders of your people. I thank you that in this anointing, it's removed in the name of Jesus. In, it's removed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. It's removed 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 in the name of Jesus. Every care, everything that's been weighing your people down, let it be removed now in Jesus' name. <laughs> let it be removed now in Jesus' name. Malunda la basinga la brotse ki sarabo se brendi aravando raba. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Tandi, I see that you just jumped onto Facebook. I speak to you now as I saw your name in the name of Jesus. Tandi van Rensburg, worry not about that which is to come. Worry not about that which is to come, whether to turn to the left or turn to the right. Tandi, I speak to you now. I thank God that you're going to begin to hear the audible voice of God. You'll hear a voice behind you, Tandi, saying, hey, this is the way. Walk ye in it, Hallelujah. either to the left or to the right. The Lord is about to show you the way forward. Thank you, The Jesus. next season, the next level, the next position. Continue to rest in Him, Tandi. For the Lord says, I will take you higher, my daughter. I'll continue to move you higher and higher. But Tandi, this is what I hear the Lord saying to you, and I speak specifically to you now. With greater heights comes the call for greater commitment with communion. When it comes to your communion with the Lord. Greater commitment, greater fellowship with Him in, in the Spirit. Reading the Word of God, communion with Him, Tandi. And the Lord says, I will begin to show you which way forward. I'll begin to show you which way forward. I'll begin to show you which way forward. In the name of Jesus, I release that word upon your life now. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Can someone just write in the comment section, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Tonight is not the flow I was expecting, but it's the flow that we all needed. Amen. Amen. We're to be led by the Spirit. We're not just to be full of the Spirit, but we must be led by the Spirit. Holy Ghost knows exactly what He's doing tonight. And you know, I believe that the flow that we can feel here, I know that this is the flow that we're going to experience in Faith Revival 4.0. I'm, I'm telling you something. You know, even as a ministry, we've already been praying every single day. I, I know that there's many of you that are watching tonight that are with us on Facebook and on YouTube and on DSTV that you've been joining us for our midday prayer. And there's an expectation that's building up in the hearts of the people for what God's about to do. I want the QR code to go up right now for how you can register for this conference. Or well, it's not a conference, it's a revival week rather. I want the strap to come onto your screen right now. If you have not registered for Faith Revival 4.0, I want you to register tonight. You can send us an email, faithrevival at myfaithtv.com. They'll continue to alternate the straps. The QR code will come next and you can scan it with your mobile device and register tonight. If you thought about missing this, you cannot afford to miss it. It's going to be a week of reviving and refreshing. Your family's life will never be the same. If you're a businessman, 
you need to come and receive vision for all that God's about to do through your business. If, you, if you're involved in any other area, if you haven't taken a family holiday yet and you're in other parts of the country or other parts of the world or other parts of South Africa or Africa, the continent of Africa, I want to encourage you, book your flights now, the 24th to the 31st of July. Faith Revival 4.0, I'm telling you something. Your life is never going to be the same again. And I'm not just trying to plug this for the sake of plugging, but I'm telling you something. God is doing something in this hour. God is doing, the temperature tonight in this place is different to what it normally is. Every time we gather, God is, up, is taking us. He's preparing us for what He's about to do in, the, in that week. I'm telling you something. I'm telling you something. Something's going to break loose. The Lord is accelerating people in this hour. He's accelerating destinies. Pastors, you need to bring your church with you. You need to bring your leaders with you to Faith Revival 4.0 because your life's never going to be the same again. The QR code is on your screen right now. Registration is free. We charge nothing for this event. You don't have to pay a single cent to come. All you have to pay for is your accommodation. You can come and experience the glory of God and be catapulted into all that God has for you. Ministers, some of you have been running dry because of the last two and a half years where there's been no conferences happening this is the week that you need to be at this is the week that you need to come with your wife with your family and get filled with the glory of God get filled with the fire of God because your destiny is time sensitive God's agenda is time sensitive there's work to be done now it's not the time for us to take sabbaticals now it's not that Jesus didn't take a sabbatical. I don't plan on taking any sabbatical. He said we must work the works of Him who has sent us, not take a sabbatical. I speak to some ministers out there. Sir, ma'am, God has anointed you not to sit down. He's about to do something in your ministry. Your ministry is about to explode in the name of Jesus. Bring your leaders. I feel that burden in my heart tonight. Really, I do. Some of your leaders that have been feeling empty, things have been feeling dry, bring them. The 24th of July, it's on your screen right now. There is no reason for you to miss this week. I'm telling you something. Bring your family. Bring your friends. It's going to be a time of God's glory. Amen. I'm speaking to people's hearts tonight. This is where you need to come. Come and join us for this week of revival. Come on, sir. And it's not about just having a time where we just stay in one place. No. God is going to shoot you into destiny. You're going to catch fire. Let me read the scripture because it's coming into my spirit again. Judges chapter 15. And this is my prayer for, for Faith Revival 4.0. Right here in South Africa. If you need details, you can send us an email. Faithrevival at myfaithtv.com. The, the automated response that will come back to you. It gives you the link to our website where we've got all the different accommodation right here in East London, Buffalo City. It gives you all the details. There is no excuse to miss it. You can also register there for free completely so that we know that you're coming so that we can expect you. But this is the scripture I want to read to you. Judges chapter 15 and verse 3. Samson said, this time I cannot be blamed for everything I'm going to do to you Philistines, to the enemy. And verse 4. Then he went out and caught 300 foxes he tied their tails together in pairs and he fastened a torch to each pair of tails then he lit the torches and let the foxes run through the grain fields of the philistines and he burned all of their grain to the ground including the sheaves and the uncut grain he destroyed their vineyards and their olive groves the camp of the enemy was plundered and I believe that Faith Revival 4.0 is going to be a time where we're going to catch fire. We're going to catch fresh fire. I don't plan on being the same after it. I'm telling you something. I speak to you from, from myself as a minister, but as a child of God, most importantly, I don't plan on being the same at the end of it. I'm saying, God, touch me. God is your son. Let something change in my life during this week. And that's why we're praying towards this event. That's why I want to ask you as well to pray every day with us. If you're not in East London, you can't make it to the church right here to the headquarters. To pray with us every day from 12 until half past 12. You can pray with us on Facebook and on YouTube every day from 12 until half past 3. And we also have something that I pitched to last week. We have a fast that's coming up and it's specifically 
in line as we prepare for Faith Revival 4.0. It's going to be from the 4th of July to the 10th of July. It's coming on your screens right now. We're going to be fasting as a, as a team. We're going to be fasting as a church right here locally. But we also want to be fasting with every single one of you, our family, our faith family. I want to ask you to fast with us from the 4th to the 10th of July, Monday through to Sunday. That whole week, we're going to be fasting and praying together. Every single day, we'll be sending out a prayer point. That will be our prayer point for that day. If you can't make it right here to Buffalo City because you're from outlying areas, you're still our family, and the prayer point will be sent out, and you can jump on Facebook with us. We're believing that we're going to not only see Buffalo City saved, but we're going to see our nation changed. It's time for Africa to arise. Come on. It's time for South Africa to arise. I've been hearing some negative talk about our country as of late. I've been hearing some negative things about our, our president, people saying things about our president. Listen to me. If the church of Jesus Christ is still on the scene, the answer is still on the scene. That's right. Jesus didn't say you're here to spectate. Jesus said you are the light. It's who dwells on the inside of you. You are the light and you are the salt. We are here to change the situation of our country. That's right. And so I want to ask you again, they're going to put the graphic up one more time. Take these dates down. Put them in your diary. Set the day to fast with us. We will send all the details of the different fasts. I will never force you into one fast. But I want to ask you, as our faith family, to fast with us and let's believe God to shake this country. Understand something, the limitations have been removed for gatherings. It's time for a shaking to come. Come on. And I'm telling you, I'm speaking to people right now, you need to register. You need to get involved with what God is about to do in Jesus' name. I want to pitch to the rolling now, if I may. Because I want to give you a little insight as to what God's going to be doing. I'm telling you the flow that we've had tonight. We're not done tonight. There's still time. Things are still going to happen tonight. So I really want to encourage you. Don't log off. You're going to be testifying in the name of Jesus. But quickly stick with us. Here's a little bit of a taste of Faith Revival 4.0. Check it out. Revival demands hunger. So if you are hungry for the power and the glory of God. Some of you need to take off tonight. Some of you need to get loose tonight. Some of you need to run tonight. Because we are at the brink of a massive revival. The shaking determines what's going to happen afterwards. And so we stretch into our future. And we grab a hold of everything complete. It's no longer I who lives, but it's you who lives in me. Use me for your glory. It's when you yield to Him that God will use you to shape nations. I really want to encourage you. There's a shaking that's going to take place, and we want you to be a part of it. Faith Revival 4.0 is where you need to be 24th of July to the 31st of July, right here in Buffalo City, South Africa. It's going to be a powerful time. We believe in that you're going to go to the next level. That's what happens when your faith catches fire. You go to the next level. So I want to really encourage one more time, as now I was saying, if you're a minister, if you're a businessman, businesswoman, if you're involved in any sports teams, maybe in children's ministry, youth and adults, come through to Faith Revival 4.0 and let your faith catch fire. For those of you who've been tuning in and watching tonight, and maybe, maybe you don't know what we've been speaking about, you, you, or you're hungry for more of what we've been speaking about, and maybe you don't know too much about this message of faith, you don't know about this Jesus we've been talking about, tonight I want to give you an opportunity to make Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Tonight there are people who have been tuning in, maybe for the first time, maybe you were tagged by somebody in the comment section you're watching on YouTube, Facebook, Faith Now, maybe you're tuning on DSTV, it's the first time you're watching this channel on, on Faith, Faith TV. I want to encourage you with this. As the message has gone forth and your faith has been stirred and you've heard an, an uplifting, an encouragement, something's changed, you're not the same. Maybe you've been healed, maybe you were set free, maybe you were delivered, maybe you had this addiction for something and that thing just left you. Tonight's your night where you can make right with God. And the thing that you were delivered from, you can meet the deliverer. The thing that you, were, that, that you received healing from, you can meet the healer. The thing that you've been comforted from, you can, re, you can meet and receive the comforter tonight. His name is Jesus Christ. There's a story in the Bible in Luke chapter 16. It's about a man, a rich man and a poor man. And this rich man was in his house. 
just going to paraphrase it. And this poor man was sitting outside, and he was outside begging for just some table scraps from this rich man's home. And this rich man endured all these pleasures while this poor man sat outside, and the dogs came and licked his wounds and his sores. And this poor man died. But when he died, he went to heaven, and he was seated with Father Abraham. The rich man died too, but he didn't end up going to heaven. He went down to Hades. When this rich man was down there in the lake of fire, where the canker worm eats you, and there is a burning and a weeping and gnashing of teeth, that's eternity down there in Hades. And he shouted out to Father Abraham to where this poor man was, and he said, just dip your finger in the water to come and cool my tongue, for I am burning in hell. I'm burning in this torment. But Father Abraham responded to him that there is a, there's, a, there's a chasm between us. No one from here can come to you, and no one from you can come to here. And then this rich man down there said, Will you not just send that poor man to my house? I have five brothers who do not know about you. I want them to know you. I want you to know something tonight. You can know him now. It's not too late. When that final trumpet sounds, when Jesus returns, you cannot get ready. You cannot get rid of sin. You should have already gotten rid of sin. Now's the time to get ready. Now's the time to be prepared. People are asking the question, why hasn't Jesus come? People have been saying, Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. He is coming. Well, what's the waiting period? The waiting period is Jesus is giving us time. Now's the time frame to make your life right with Him. That's the time frame we have. And when that final trumpet sounds, you don't have to get yourself ready. You can already be ready. And you can be on the front lines. You can be saving others, populating heaven and plundering hell. So tonight, I want to give that opportunity. If that's you, if you're in the comment section, say, that's me. I want to pray with you. I want you to lift your hands to heaven. That's where our help comes from. We're surrendering unto God. He's the good shepherd. He's going to lead you out of whatever you're in tonight, whatever you got yourself in, whatever the devil's got you in, and he's going to lead you out of that. He's going to bring you into good, and you're going to meet the good shepherd. You ready? Here we go. Say this out loud with me. Say, dear Lord Jesus, dear Lord Jesus tonight, tonight, I ask you, I ask you to, be the Lord to be the Lord and Savior, and Savior of my life. I ask you you to forgive me me of all my my sins and to fill me me with your Holy Spirit. Spirit. I ask ask that you give me power power where I was once weak. I thank you, Jesus, Jesus, for dying on the cross for me. me. That thing that I was once involved in, I I thank you that you've delivered me. You've You've set me free free and you've saved me. I'm a child of God. God. Heaven is my home. home. God is my Father. Father. I thank you that I have a plan. And I have a purpose. And it will be fulfilled in Jesus' mighty name. name. In Jesus' name, amen. If that's you, I want to encourage you. If you prayed that prayer, I want you to type it in the comment section. I prayed the prayer. If you're watching us, or maybe on DSTV, on Faith Now, on YouTube, you can simply type an email at what now at myfaithtv.com. We want to be able to lead you in the next steps on how you can walk this journey with Jesus, how you can grow in your faith. We want to get you, in, get you plugged into a faithful church where you can walk this journey of faith, that you can grow your faith, and that you continue fighting the good fight of faith. So what now at myfaithtv.com. And we want to applaud you ahead of time. Thank you for praying that prayer. All of heaven rejoices when one soul comes into the kingdom. And we believe that there was a mighty harvest tonight in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. You know, as we get ready to give tonight and to sow into God's kingdom, I really want to encourage you with this. There's certain things that happen maybe in the flesh that kind of make you want to shut down, but faith never stands still and faith never goes backwards. Faith is an advancing force. It always moves forward. And God, His will for us is that we would increase, that we would multiply, that we won't even stand still, that we won't move back, but we will move forward into everything that God has for us. In Psalm 37, it says, In verse 19, it says, They will not be disgraced in hard times. Even in famine, they will have more than enough. This is such a powerful scripture that you won't be disgraced, even in hard times, that God will give you more than enough, even in famine. And this is so encouraging. You know, in Jer- Jerry Seville said this in the beginning of the year. He said, in the world, there will be chaos, but in the church, it will be the open hand of God's favor 
over His people. God wants to give His best to you. And the only requirement is that we would put seed in the ground because this is the thing. You know, God doesn't need our money or it's not as if He can't advance the kingdom without our finances. But when we put seed in the ground, the thing is our seed attached with our faith It's a vehicle for our faith. And that's why we put seed in the ground because it gives our faith a vehicle. And that is why we put seed in the ground. And we know that God will multiply it and God will increase us. Because in Proverbs 3 verse 9 to 10, it says, Honor the Lord, in the New Living Translation, it says, Honor the Lord with your wealth and with the best part of everything you produce Then he will fill your barns with grain and your vats will overflow with good wine. The same scripture in the New King James Version says, Honor the Lord with your possessions and with the first fruits of all your increase. So your barns will be filled with plenty and your vats will overflow with new wine. You know, God is unlimited. He is unlimited. He will put a gold coin in a fish's mouth. He will send ravens to feed you. It doesn't matter what. He is unlimited, but He is our source. And I want you to Declare that today, that God is my source. Don't look around to the left and to the right because God is the one who is your source and He cares for you. We are not just His servants, we are His children and He cares for us. You know, God will see to it that as we give our best, you know, as we give our best, that He will multiply it, press down, shaken together and running over in Jesus' name. And when the world is selling, we are buying because Fear loses, but faith increases. Faith will always push you forward as you trust in God, saying, God, you are my source. You are Jehovah Jireh, my provider. God will fill nets with fish. He will fill storehouses with grain in Jesus' name. And the word says in 2 Corinthians 9, verse 8 to 9, it says, 8 to 10, it says, and God is able to make Grace, make all grace, every favor and earthly blessing come to you in abundance so that you may always, whatever the circumstances, be self-sufficient, requiring no aid or help, furnished in abundance for every good work and charitable donation. That is His will for you. That is His will for you. That God wants us blessed to be a blessing. Even in times of trouble, God is our helper. I want you to declare this today. I want you to declare, I see the hand of God opening up for me that no man can shut because that is His will for us. This is the thing. Even when the world says there's a there's an economic collapse, there's various things going to happen, God God's system is not tied into the world system. It's not tied. Like I said in the beginning of the program, we are a part of a different kingdom. We are part of a different system. Nothing can stop God. He is unlimited. He will bring ravens to feed. He will do whatever He needs to do because He is unlimited limited. He is unlimited. And I want you to declare this with me today, that the best days for my family starts now. Declare that in the comment section. The best days for my family starts now in Jesus' name. The details on the screen on how you can be a part of today's giving. I really want to encourage you as you put seed in the ground, know that as you attach your faith to the seed, that seed is a vehicle and it will produce in Jesus' name. It will produce a mighty harvest. God is not a God that He should lie. He will surely care for you, child of God. He will surely look after you. He is your source. He is your provider in Jesus' name. And even in the days of famine, God will provide for you. He will look after you. You will have, just like the Scripture says, you will will have more than enough in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. If you are sowing your seed, the details are on the screen. And as you do so, I also want you to get your communion elements ready as we go into a time of communion. But you know, as we are speaking on this topic of being a giant slayer, the God really... God really placed this in my heart to be a giant slayer. It comes from a meeting with God. Because, you know, when we read about the, the great men and women who did such great things for the kingdom of God in the Bible, it all was birthed from an encounter. 
from a meeting with God because from that first meeting, from that first encounter, something was birthed on the inside of them that positioned them as a giant slayer. And the first person, the first great man, uh, the Spirit of the Lord led me to was Moses. Because you see, Moses was called, he was herding the flock. He was minding his own business. But a burning bush drew him, drew him closer. God caught his attention. God drew him closer and gave him a big, big assignment. He was simply herding the flock. And then God called him. And from that encounter, an instruction was given. And you know, if Moses was facing the Red Sea, if Moses was fa facing all these things God had instructed him to do, because at first he resisted. At first he said, God, don't choose me. I, I can't do this. I'm unable to. But God still said, I have chosen you. You are the one. Go and do this. But you know, when you are facing a giant, when something's standing in front of you, when a circumstance is standing in front of you, and you don't know who you are, you don't know who you carry, you are standing in very dangerous territory. <laughs> If you don't know who you are, Moses could not stand in front of that Red Sea, in front of that giant with doubt, with unbelief. He had to know his God. He had to be so confident of who his God is, of the instruction that his God had given him to do, of what he had placed on the inside of him to know that that thing had to move, to know that whatever God instructed, it had to come to pass. And it's the same with you. And I really believe tonight, people are moving, even for everything we've been praying for, what we're standing in faith with you for, which we, those healings that we know have already been done, those sicknesses that have already left your body, and that we are going to hear the testimonies. You are truly moving from a, from a place of simply managing things that the world is trying to put on you, that the devil's trying to put on you, to knowing that you are already a conqueror, to knowing that you've already overcome, to step in and be positioned as a giant slayer, knowing that it's already been given to you, knowing that you already have the victory. Because even as we look at what Moses did. When we go down a bit to in the book of Numbers and we see that he sent out the, the spies to the promised land and there were two reports that came back. A negative report and a promise and a positive report. And you know, now they were speaking about literal giants. The negative one was, we cannot go in and possess. We can't go in. There's giants there. They're too strong for us. But what was the positive report? We can surely go in. We can surely conquer. Because you know the strength that is in you, all that is backing you. If God is for you, who can ever be against you? If God is for you, you are already positioned as the victor. If God is for you, you already hold that giant's head in your hand. If God is for you and He's placed your spirit, His spirit on the inside of you, you already have the victory, child of God. You already have it right now over any circumstance, over anything that seems as a giant in front of you right now. You already can take possession. You can already take possession of that promise. And you can walk in with boldness. You can walk in with confidence. You can walk in with an assurance in your heart, knowing whose strength is on the inside of you. Not in our own strength, but in the strength of God. And I want you to take you to the book of Mark quickly. Turn with me to Mark 11, verse 23. I wanna end with this scripture. This is, these are the words of Jesus, the truth that he was telling his disciples, and it's a truth for you too as well, for you as well. Mark 11, 23. I tell you the truth. This is Jesus speaking. I tell you the truth. You can say to this mountain, you can say to this giant, may you be lifted up and thrown into the sea and it will happen. But you must really believe it will happen and have no doubt in your heart. You must really believe it will happen and have no doubt. You must really know whose strength is on the inside of you. You must really know the God that you serve. And you know, I read this and all that Jesus, the truth that He said and what He left, because even though He's no longer physically walking on the earth, but we know He's alive, seated at the right hand of the Father. He didn't leave us alone. He left us with His Spirit. He left us with this promise that even though He's not physically walking, He's not physically walking in the natural, 
but we still have this confidence. We still have this truth. We still have His Spirit. And we know where He's seated right now. He's seated in a place of victory. And that same victory that He has is given to you, child of God. And you know why we have access to it? Because of what He did. Because of the price that was paid. Because of the blood that was shed. Because of the body that was broken. And even as you hold the elements in your hand right now, the body that was broken and the blood that was shed, all that we prayed for earlier, sin, sickness, disease from the enemy, he broke it. He has, he has the victory over it and he's given it to you now too. Child of God, right now he's given this victory to you. It can no longer touch your body. It can no longer touch your physical body. It can no longer have a place in your mind. It can no longer have a place in your family when you know that it's already been done. When you know where you are positioned because you know your God, you know the price that was paid for you and the blood that was shed. So we can sit here right now. So we can have access. So we can be righteous. So that we can have right standing with God. So that our past, the world no longer defines us. We don't have to live by it, but we live by what the Word of God says. So Father, even as we hold the elements in our hands tonight, we thank you, God, that you sent your Son. We thank you that you had this plan. You had this plan so that we could be brought back to you, so that we could have access to this victory, so that we can walk in your fullness, so that we can walk in your confidence, so that we can walk in your authority and all the truths that are written in your word, they apply to us right now. We thank you, Jesus, for your body. We are he- We walk in total health right now. Our bodies are healed. Every body is healed right now because of the body that was broken and the blood that was shed so that we are made whole, so that we have no more sin, so that we can live lives according to your word, God. We thank you right now. We love you, Jesus. We are so thankful in Jesus' name. You may partake of both of the elements. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Someone just got healed in Jesus' name. Someone just got delivered in Jesus' name. Whatever was in your body as you partook of that, the bread and the cup, it can't stay in your body in Jesus' name. It has to go. And what I want to do quickly I want to read you some scripture, if I may. Before you jump off online, you know, all of you, we get so blessed by every single one of you. And if you're on DSTV and Sky 5 9.4, maybe you don't have YouTube, but you should have YouTube or at least Facebook. I really want to urge you to download it so that you can connect with us, so that you can join us in the comment section, so that we can see you because I want you to know something. We get so blessed to know that you're with us. You know, we might be in a studio, but one thing we've come to recognize about the Lord is that there is no distance, there's no limitation to Him. There's no barrier, there's no obstacle. And just as His anointing is so evident in this place and His presence is so evident, it's in your home even right now, all across the world, in your hospital bed, in your prison cell, wherever you are. And I really want to remind you, and I really felt the Lord to drive that into someone's heart tonight, to drive this into someone's heart tonight, that every giant that tries to rise against you, its head will roll in Jesus' name. Every devil, every demon that thinks it can come and take you out, its head must roll in Jesus' name. Because the Bible says that we don't just have a shield of faith, but we have a sword that is of the Spirit, which is the Word of God which is a double-edged sword, sharper. It's actually so, uh, it's actually sharper. It's sharper than any two-edged sword. So you get a two-edged sword and then you get the Word of God that's sharper than that. And it's quick and it's powerful. And it's able to make heads roll. 
every attack that even thinks it can rise against you may its head roll in Jesus name let me remind you as well the Bible tells us in Deuteronomy chapter 28 when it speaks about the blessing of God the Bible tells us that when the enemy attacks you the Lord will conquer your enemy the Lord will conquer your enemy the Lord will conquer your enemy it will come in one direction but it will scatter from you in seven in Jesus name and let me close with this 1 Samuel 17 32 don't worry about this Philistine David told Saul I will go and fight him don't be ridiculous Saul replied there's no ways that you can fight this Philistine and possibly win you're only a boy and he's been a man of war since his youth but David persisted I've been taking care of my father's sheep and goats he said when a lion or a bear comes to steal a lamb from the flock I go after it with the club and rescue the lamb from its mouth if the animal turns on me I catch it by the jaw and club it to death I have done this both to the lion and to the bears and I will do it to this Philistine too for he has defied the armies of the living God now listen to this the Lord who rescued me from the claws of the lion and the bear will rescue me from this Philistine the reason why I want to emphasize this particular verse as we come to a close tonight is because I want you to recognize that testimonies are about to break loose in your life that just as David had two testimonies that empowered him to conquer Goliath you see your testimony empowers you to overcome we overcome him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of our testimony so just as you have the blood of Jesus you also need to have a word of your testimony that empowers you to overcome David was qualified to kill Goliath because of these things that happened behind the scenes where nobody saw them these testimonies empowered him to overcome he said hey Saul you might not think it's possible but you weren't there when it was just me you weren't there when it was just me and the sheep and I killed the lion and I killed the bear and I took the sheet that was in its mouth and I clubbed it to death you weren't there when the breakthrough came you weren't there when the Lord showed himself strong on my behalf and the same way that he did that then so he will do it again with this uncircumcised Philistine you see testimony will keep you in a position of victory it is an essential it is a necessity for a believer to carry testimony you see either the either this word is true or it's all a lie and if it's true then God still performs his word then our life should bear the evidence of the word of God and tonight have you as you've connected in faith as you have believed as you open up your heart and said oh God I believe those of you who are believing for your healing some of you have already been healed now you're healed in Jesus name I pray for the testimony that's broken loose tonight to be the very testimony that empowers you to conquer every giant that thinks he can stop your progress every giant that thinks he can stand in the way of your business every giant that thinks he can take out your health every giant that thinks he can block your path I pray that the testimony wine that comes to pass tonight will intoxicate you and empower you to conquer in a grand fashion in the name of Jesus if you believe it tonight if you receive it tonight and if you give God praise tonight I want to see you now in the comment section on YouTube I want to see you on Facebook on DSTV and Sky 594 I want you to lift up your two hands and give Jesus praise but if you're with us on social media I want you to begin to hit the heart button now as a sign of praise let's give him thanksgiving even right now for all that he's done hit the heart button as we end with praise tonight on YouTube I want you to hit the like button throw your favorite emojis in the comment section and give Jesus some praise for all that he's done I pray that you are blessed tonight we can't wait to see you tomorrow remember it's the NXT tomorrow night it's night of miracles you don't want to miss it it's gonna be off the chain Sunday is all the Sunday specials don't miss it faith worship 9 a.m. not that I have favorites but I do a little bit I can't wait to see you on Sunday at 9 a.m. until then be blessed in Jesus' name. Let's praise Him.
tells me who I am. I am who I am because the I am tells me who I am. I am who I am because the I am tells me who I am.